So we've been talking about a lot of heavy stuff, but I want to talk about something that's really important right now. The great political philosopher Frank Zappa once noted that if you want to be a real country, you have to have a beer and you have to have an airline. It probably helps to have some nuclear weapons, maybe a football team, but at very least, a real country has to have a beer. Well, as it turns out, under socialism, you can't even have a beer anymore. The largest brewery in Venezuela, Cerveceria Polar, just announced they can no longer acquire the ingredients in Venezuela to produce a beer that services 80% of the market in that country. All of these theoretical arguments about economic planning under socialism and the inability to calculate the allocation of scarce resources, now it hits home. If you want to understand socialism in practice, take a look at the economic hellhole that is Venezuela today. In Caracas, you can't buy food, you can't buy diapers, you can't even go to the mall anymore because there's no electricity to fire those social gathering places. It seems like the only thing left to do in this country is to drink beer. Now that's gone. You need a cold one to get through socialism. You probably need a 12 pack to get through the economic hell that is socialism in practice. But that's not an option anymore. So I'm here back in the great United States. I'm in America right now, and we can drink as much beer as we want anytime we want from some 3,000 brewers right here at home. See this beer? This beer is freedom, and you will pry it from my cold, dead hands.